Divine Feminine, hello, okay? Y'all know how we do it here, situation, action, outcome. I'm just hearing the loneliness that's, that's coming with this, okay? Um, for the next couple days, I'm hearing loneliness. I'm hearing that you're gonna be able to shake out of this energy soon, but right now, it's just, it's got you in a chokehold, this loneliness, okay? Lonely. Situation here for Divine Feminine is just breathe. Ah, I said this in the channel messages. Just breathe, it's okay. It's like you're waiting for something. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting. And Father's saying, it's coming. Just breathe. Be patient, okay? <laughs> oh, I know y'all hate that word. Be patient, okay? That it's coming. Just breathe. Remember that, okay? Tap into your inner self. Remember to stay in alignment with yourself as well. This is you meditating. This is you really understanding and talking to your person, person telepathically. Just, you know, encouraging yourself as well, okay? Just know that you deserve love. This love that you deserve, okay? Your action is to open up. So if you got this person blocked, open up. Open up the lines of communication. It's already hard for your person to reach out to you. Don't make it too difficult because of your feelings and because of resentment or because of hatred or any kind of jealousy or, you know, disappointment. Father's saying open up to your person, okay? Allow those lines of communication to be in. 444 is very important because, number one, I'm just seeing this right here. This, both of these are fours, okay? This is the four of swords energy, and this is the four of pentacles, okay? This is you really, really trying to open yourself up for your person. Um, but 444 means all is well. Remember I said that in the channel messages this weekend. Um, all is well, okay? Whenever you see that, that's a reminder. That's the angels reminding you that they got this for you, okay? So don't doubt it. And remember to don't block this connection, okay? That's what I just keep hearing is do not block this connection. What's the outcome, Father? The outcome is simply love. Simply love on this person. This is the uh, Six of Cups energy, okay? There may be children involved, but know that simply love on yourself. Simply love on your person. Whatever the case may be, um, I'm just hearing that you just need to breathe and let things happen naturally, okay? Let things unfold naturally. I know the timeline is hard. That's the hardest thing to overcome, but you're not the only person looking at the time. See, your divine masculine right now is absolutely looking at the time. They're, they're really disappointed that they haven't come through sooner, okay? Um, yeah, nine of uh, swords energy at the bottom. Your hidden energy is your darkest fears. You might have a lot of anxiety right now because you're anxious about this connection. Um, sleepless nights pacing you you know you have this uh sleepless nights is very big i'm just hearing that completely sleepless nights or you're having nights where you know you can't completely go to sleep you'll be in and out of sleep all night that's what i'm hearing some of you all are dealing with that and that's just because you're anxious you're, you're really thinking like what if they don't reach out and what if they don't haven't been changing what if they haven't been making the necessary changes in their life in order to come forward what if i'm wasting my time i'm hearing all those questions and it's a lot it reminds me just of this right here darkest fears it's just <laughs> all these questions going round and round and round in your head right underneath that is the four of uh cups which is that sadness that's that longing for your person but opportunity beckons your person is thinking of you as well so don't worry y'all both have that pool that energetic pool towards one another and y'all both are discontent with life right now you're bored with it you're like okay let's get on this journey let's get on with it is what i'm hearing let's get on with it divine feminine your mood death card death to bad habits death to bad thoughts negative thoughts bad self-talk thinking that you don't deserve love or that this person isn't changing remember recognize that when it comes okay you need to cancel that that energy of something coming into your head thinking oh okay they're gonna be with somebody else on valentine's day and that's the reason why they're not calling you that's not the case i'm hearing a lot of karmics are gonna be lonely this valentine's day lonely as well and um some of them have moved on some of the karmics have moved on and they absolutely got another person so they're gonna be if they're not lonely they're gonna be happy with someone else this valentine's day so just understand that and know that you know, don't put those thoughts into your head. I'm hearing outdated thinking completely. Outdated thinking that, that used to happen. Just know that it's changing, okay? Divine Feminine, uh, your twin flame card is, I'm afraid this relationship is too good to be true and I pull away in fear. This is what your person is trying to tell you. They pull away. The reason why you get ghosted or blocked is because they love you so much that they're like, wow, I, I don't know why I still, like, you know, somebody... Somebody's really, really deep into their emotions when it comes down to this love. They don't love like this with anybody else. And it scares them so, so freaking much. But with this 11 on the card here, I'm hearing that they still are manifesting this connection. They still want this. It just scares the crap out of them, okay? 
I'm totally hearing that part. It just scares them completely, okay? This type of love that they have for you. I'm hearing that they'll do anything for you in the world, okay? Anything in the world. Because right now, I'm just hearing change your focus. Because this card just keeps, I mean, the, the deck is facing up now. And I'm seeing this change your focus card again, just like Divine Masculine had as well. So you have to change your focus with the Five of Cups energy, that's sadness, that's depression, that's loneliness. The Father's saying, listen to your intuition. Even though you might feel helpless and hopeless in this, this is a strong, strong love, okay? This is a strong, strong love. This is the lover's card, okay? So, um, and I just got blocked up there when I just said the lovers, okay? The lovers, I love that. <laughs> but at the same time, somebody is, you know, just facing challenges when it comes to communicating their feelings. Their feelings are the ones that scares them the most. And they're having a problem, blockages, when it comes down to sharing how they truly, truly feel about you, okay? Let's see, Divine Feminine, what would you like to tell your masculine today? What would Divine Feminine like to tell their masculine today? And that came immediately. I'm learning to observe my thoughts. The hangman, I told you to watch out for those thoughts that creep in and tell you, oh, your person isn't changing. You have to change those thoughts. You have the power to switch that gear in your head and just be happy with life right now. Whatever's going on in your life, good, bad, and ugly, just be appreciative. I'm just hearing gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. There's something about having gratitude that's going to get you out of that sadness or that contemplative thinking, which you're thinking all these questions. Just be grateful for right now. Be grateful for the time you have right now. And um, I'm not telling y'all to go out and do whatever, whatever for Valentine's Day, but take care of yourself, okay? Even if it's just you want to sit in bed and watch movies all day, that's your prerogative. You don't have to do everything that the world is doing, okay? But anyways, that's what I have for you, Divine Feminine. I hope this information helped and blessed. Let's go to the last video for the last message. Next video. Thank you so much.